Hi everyone, Bob Santucci, Healdsburg Real Estate. How are you doing today? Today we're talking about groundwater and potential water underground wells. Well systems are what is common common in country property. And uh, I'm using this gentleman, it, he puts out these uh, geology and groundwater potential reports. And he's, uh, his name's E.H. Berdu. He's been here for a long time in Sonoma County. He does these reports, they're just like a book. They're really lengthy, but if you study them, you look at them, it really becomes less of a mystery uh, as to uh, where well water comes from. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hi, we're down on Grant Street, just east of Georgia's restaurant, South Healdsburg. We're looking at ag wells and domestic wells. The pad that you see in front of me with the big blue tank, that's a pressure tank, is the pad, this is the pad for the ag well. I'll show you what we're looking at. In this vineyard, what we have is a distribution network of black tubing and the black tubing feeds these drip emitters. These drip emitters are two gallons per minute or so and um, the water comes through the black tubing, goes through the emitter, and then to the hose and out to the plant. The plants are getting an even amount of water throughout the whole vineyard because they are rated at two gallons per minute. This distribution network provides uniform distribution comes to those black tubing by way of the wellhead. The wellhead is right there and this is the white, large white device that looks like a 10, 12 inch casing that probably goes down 100, 130 feet in the ground and there's a, probably a two or three horsepower motor in it and it's providing about 500 to 2500 gallons per minute. The gallons per minute are decided by the size of the motor in the well and the amount of water availability. Uh, when the well comes on and off, this pressure tank takes up the shock. When that thing surges, there's a bladder inside that pressure tank and that sucks in and out and that's what compensates for that dramatic rises and decreases in pressure rather than blowing the pipes apart. So the wellhead comes out through this network of galvanized pipes. The black device you see is what we call an amiot, an Israeli filter. It's got a sneezer on it so uh, you just open up the bottom and it'll self-clean itself and then it comes out through these galvanized pipes and into the vineyard. So you got two different sets there and it's probably broken down into two different distribution networks through the vineyard. That's your basic ag well setup. This is domestic. This is a domestic well. Um, much smaller, you know, you're only going to need you up to maybe five gallons a minute or so in your house. And uh, so you've got the smaller casing the, uh, the panel that is set by Luciani Pump here in Healdsburg and it distributes to this home that's over here and to get the power to that they've set a power pole over here and that power pole has a panel on it that comes over to this area. Now what area are we in as far as how much water there is? This is a water abundant area. I remember my friend Milt Brandt before he passed away telling me that the Russian River used to pass right where I'm standing and so we're several thousand yards east of uh, where the river is currently and we're just east of Giorgio's restaurant. So this used to be the Russian riverbed. So imagine a riverbed filled in for thousands and thousands of years with rock and gravel and instead of it being solid rock. And it's just like a giant swimming pool of water underneath us here. And it's very easy to draw water from that. It's a giant water storage area. And that's alluvium soils. Alluvium soils build up in valleys over tens of thousands of years and provide us with a water abundant area. Let's go out and see what a water scarce area could look like. I came out here west of Healdsburg so we could uh, look at different rock formations and what type of rock holds water, what doesn't, and talk about the luckiest day in a, in a videographer's life. Look at the water coming out of that rock right there. That is water coming out of a rock on a hillside in late August. Here's another great example. This is a rock, uh, giant rock to the side of the road. And what we're looking at is the fractures in the rock. See all the cracks and, the, and all the little spots here? And how oh, it's really 
they're not very big. It's enough to hold water. If this was underground, 200 feet or so, all these cracks would be full of water. In a water scarce area, this is what would be holding your water underground. So you can imagine it, it's going to hold a lot. All these cracks eventually will fill in with sand and rock and uh, other alluvium type. So, so, but then every once in a while, you get this, a giant crack. Imagine a crack uh, 2,000 feet long, 3, 4,000, 5,000 feet long, and you hit that with a well, that would be full of water. They're really good examples of different types of situations. So that rock there wouldn't hold any water, but the cracks in between sure would. Hi, Mr. Lizard. This is an example of the shale that would between, be between rock. You know, when those rocks get filled in, this is exactly what it would be filled in with. That holds a lot of water, that type of stuff there. So when the drill rig goes down, they're constantly pulling samples out of the ground and um, finding out what's down there. Is it solid rock or is it the shale that holds water? You really see, you know, it's almost like a sponge. You can, you can break it apart. It does hold a lot of water, and uh, so there's different types of drills. There's air, rotary, mud. I'm old school, so you know there's probably newer stuff too. But you can really see. Oh. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that holds water. Well, I hope this video has given you some insight and gotten rid of some of the mysteries of where well water comes from, how it's stored underground, and uh, how to get to it. If you have any questions, I can always be reached at 707-888-9115 or visit HealdsburgRealEstate.com. Thanks a lot.